Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my continued coverage of the Arcos 70 internet tablet. Now this device was sent to me by Advanced MP3 Players and you can find their website at amp3.co.uk. It's going to cost you £229 and it's running Google Android 2.1 with a 2.2 update due very soon. 7 inch touchscreen, 800 by 480 resolution and a 1 GHz processor. Now I'm going to be showing you in this video the email applications. I did actually install the Google uh, suite of applications which included market and some other bits and pieces so it might not be exactly how you get it out of the box but that's very easy to install and you can install it by downloading a Google, uh, Google Apps APK from Android Fans website. Now there are two different email options. This one here is just for standard POP3 and IMAP accounts. I haven't actually set anything up in there myself. What I've set up is my Gmail accounts, and that's accessible by this uh, shortcut that I've placed on my home screen. This is my list of emails. Uh, this is my uh, main YouTube associated email account. I can actually switch accounts. If I tap on here and then on accounts, I can actually switch between different accounts or add another Gmail account as well. Let's go back into my inbox and here I've got lots and lots of emails. If I tap on one, I can view it. This gives me a look at the email. I can choose to archive it, delete it, or look at older um, uh, threads of this email, or I can tap on reply. If I tap on reply, the on-screen keyboard pops up. This is a very nice keyboard for typing on, uh, with the exception that these bottom row of icons sometimes do miss your touch. So let's have a quick type. As you can see, it's missed my push of the space bar, which it does quite a lot. But that's probably me just having to get used to the uh, keyboard on here. Bit of a delay there. Okay, let's get rid of that. It's probably me just typing too fast. So there is a little bit of a lag on this keyboard compared to others, but it's not too bad. As you can see, it comes up with suggestions as I'm typing as well. Keep a tiny little space bar, so I keep hitting that next to it. So it made one little mistake there. Let's give you a close-up of that screen where I hit the V button instead of the space bar. But generally very good. It does work in either portrait or landscape format does it? No it doesn't, it won't rotate round there we go, it has rotated round, so it was rotating round there's just a bit of a lag there on the rotation in fact it has sort of moved down to a slow crawl at the moment so not sure why that is, probably got lots of things running but we're back up and running again so a little bit of a lag in uh, switching round to this orientation that should improve uh, a lot when the 2.2 update comes comes up because it's going to speed this device up a lot. So that's a look at texting, uh, sorry emailing. Um, let's go back one step. Let's discard that email and we go back to the main email list. Now in this email list as well I can delete emails either individually by tapping and holding on them or I can tap these little tick boxes uh, next to the email. See this one here I've put a tick in and this one here I can put a tick in and then I can choose to archive, label or delete those selected emails. Let's choose delete and they've been deleted from my email inbox. So let's just take one more look at this. Let's um, go into uh, another email and let's just click reply again down the bottom here. I just want to just test that rotating round again. So it does rotate round a lot quicker that time. It was obviously doing it was actually downloading some bits while I was doing that that last um demonstration. So that was a little bit unfair. The reason we had that lag before, it was actually downloading some apps up the top here. So a very nice texting 
or emailing experience. I keep saying texting because I'm testing so many devices at the moment. This one doesn't actually offer texting, it doesn't have a SIM card slot, so it's purely Wi Fi only and emails. So, this was my look at emailing on the Arcos 70. A very nice device, I'm enjoying using it a lot. A little bit of lag, but as I say, that will improve with time. We've got um, various notifications coming in as I am doing this review, so that's why it's causing a little bit of lag as well. But overall, a really nice experience on the email front. Please do keep tuned to the Geek and Noise channel because there's going to be lots more coverage on the Arcos 70, including a look at videos and photos, and also a full review as well. Well, thanks very much for watching. Until next time, have a great day. This video is sponsored by MyMemory.com. For great prices, fast delivery and reliable customer support, visit MyMemory.com.